welcome back uh, to mlt world today friends the topic i am going to discuss with all of you that is fixate is one of the most important topic of histology subject in this video we will cover what is the fixation and purpose of fixation principle of fixation ideal properties of the fixatives then the classification of fixatives and then at the end types of chemical fixatives let's start the lecture first of all what is fixation if in simple word fixation is a process by which the constituents of the cells and tissues are fixed in a physical and chemical state so that they will stand with various reagents with minimal loss of structure and if we will see the proper definition you can note down again fixation is the process by which the constituents of the cells and tissues are fixed in a physical and chemical state so that they will withstand with various reagents and with minimal loss of structure and this is achieved by exposing the tissue to chemical compound called fixatives next is the purpose of fixation the purpose of fixation is basically to preserve the tissue permanently in as life like state as possible and uh, so that we will prevent the tissue from autolysis and putrefaction what is autolysis autolysis means is the lysis or dissolution of cells by the enzymatic action and putrefaction is the breakdown of tissue by the bacterial action and that it will be often with the formation of the gas that will be the putrefaction here the important point is the volume of fixative should be 15 to 20 times more than the we can say more than the tissue size or volume of the tissue or volume of the specimen next is the principle of fixation mostly fixation is the act, most of the fixatives act by denaturing proteins which then form meshwork tend to hold other constituents so the fixative bring about the cross linking of protein which produces denaturation of protein so that the semi fluid state is converted into semi solid state and thus the semi solid state facilitate easy fixation of tissue next is properties of an ideal fixative what are the important properties of ideal fixative is first of all and the most important is prevent autolysis and bacterial decomposition as i discussed before the purpose also of good fixative is to prevent from autolysis and bacterial decomposition next is fix the tissue in natural state and fix all the components of the cells third is preserve the tissue volume next is avoid excessive hardness of the tissue next is allow enhanced staining of the tissue the most important thing in tissue processing next is the good fixative should be non toxic and non allergic and the most important for any lab should not be very expensive and the next is concentration of the fixative either should be isotonic or hypotonic now we will discuss the types of fixative there are two types basically physical and chemical fixate physical is done by heat and freezing and chemical fixative that we are used it is divided into five groups of chemical fixative that is most important part of this lecture also these groups are aldehydes alcohols oxidizing agents mercurials and picrates first of all we will discuss aldehyde group the most common fixative used in histology histopathology is from aldehyde group and that is formaldehyde it is no, normally used as 10% normal buffer and sorry neutral buffered formalin so formaldehyde is basically a gas but is soluble in water to the extent of 37 to 40% 
weight by volume so this solution of formaldehyde in water is called formalin or full strength formalin it is used as 10% neutral buffered commercially available and we can prepare also so what are the advantages that formalin is most commonly used because it is cheap penetrates rapidly and does not over harden the tissues next is that it preserves the proteins by forming cross linkage with them and the tissue components that is as we discussed in the properties also and what are the disadvantages it is irritant to nose and eyes and mucous membrane so this can cause uh, dermatitis and sinusitis next one is due to uh, long storage especially in cold weather white precipitates formed in formalin called paraformaldehyde and due to formation of paraformaldehyde formalin itself loses its concentration and next is that uh, glycogen is particular uh, partially preserved so we cannot use formalin for carbohydrates fixation and the next disadvantage is it is neither preserve or not destroy fat and time required for formalin fixation at room temperature 12 hours and for small biopsies 4 to 6 hours and at 65 degree fixation occurs in 2 hours next group is alcohols the mode of action of alcohol is precipitating fixative and the most common precipitating fixatives are ethanol and methanol so ethanol it act as a reducing agent become oxidized to acetaldehyde and then to the acetic acid ethanol also called as ethyl alcohol it is slow to penetrate and hardens the uh, hard and shrink also the tissue next a point is that alcohols penetrates rapidly in uh, presence of other fixatives hence in the combination like carnoise fixative is used to increase the speed of the tissue processing and next point in alcohol is that ethanol can be used for immunofluorescent or some histochemical methods to detect certain next important point is ethanol and ethyl alcohol is that it is fat solvent and hence it dissolves fats and lipids next is that methyl alcohol or methanol is used for the fixing uh, blood films and bone marrow smears and cold acetone is sometimes used as a fixative for the histochemical demonstrations of some of the tissue enzymes link like uh, phosphates and lipases and its mode of action as a fixative is uh, similar to that of uh, alcohol like precipitating that we discuss next group is oxidizing agent and in oxidizing agent the fixative use is potassium dichromate it fix the cytoplasm without precipitation valuable in mixtures for the fixation of lipid especially uh, phospholipids and used for the fixing phospho phospho phosphatide sorry and mitochondria 
next used is uh, an oxidizing agent is osmium tetroxide it is a strong oxidizing agent and bring about fixation by forming the cross links with proteins and in osmium tetroxide is used also as a secondary fixative when samples prepared for the electron microscope so it gives excellent preservation details for a cell therefore exclusively used for electronic sorry electron microscopy next important point in osmium tetroxide is it fix the fats for example myelin and next important point is it also demonstrate fat when 0.5 to 2% aqueous solution is used and it gives a black color to fat this is the disadvantage of osmium tetroxide next group is the mercurials and most common mercurials used are b5 and zinker fixative since mode of action is unknown but they increase the staining brightness and give excellent nuclear details uh, the disadvantage is also that mercurials penetrate slowly or poorly so it will cause tissue shrinkages the important point is that size means like thickness of the tissue to be fixed in mercurial chloride is important since if the tissue is more than 4 mm then it hardens uh, tissue at uh, the periphery whereas the center remains soft and fixed as we, i told before that it take long time for fixation but it penetrates rapidly without destroying lipids and other important point in mercurial is that it neither fixes nor destroys uh, carbohydrates so treatment of the uh, tissue with the mercurials especially mercurial chloride bring out more brilliant uh, staining with most of the dyes and the other important point is that tissue fixed with mercurial chloride containing fixatives also contain black precipitates that we can say the disadvantage of mercury which are removed by treating with 0.5 percent iodide solution in 70 percent ethanol for 5 to 10 minutes and then sections are rinsed in water and decolorized for 5 minutes in 5 percent sodium thiosulfate and washed in running water last group is the picrates and the, in picrates the use is picric acid and picrates are good fixative for connective tissues can preserve glycogen well but it also produce um, we can say mark cell shrinkage hence it is not used alone and it has to be stored in damp places because of its uh, explosive nature and it is preferably stored under a layer of water and it penetrates well and fixes rapidly a good example of picrate is boin solution and it precipitates protein and combine with them uh, to form picrates some of the picrates are uh, water soluble so must be treated with alcohol uh, before further uh, processing and where the tissue is comes into the contact with the water here one important point is that wash thoroughly so that uh, it uh, the remain so that the further process of uh, staining will not affect and staining will quality will be good also so this cover video of fixatives is completed here i hope this quick review of fixative 
uh, gives you a good understanding of uh, uh, about fixative what is fixative ideal properties of fixatives and types of fixative it's uh, almost a complete lecture of for fixative for mlt students especially thank you so much